Hey guys, Officer O'Leary here, back again with New Jersey Coasters. Hello. And today we're out in a new park for me. I've never been here before. Storybook land. When you purchase your tickets here, there's a little gate. And then you go through the gate and you view the place. Come on, come on, be my girl. Come on, come on, be my girl. I said, hey, baby. Hey, you're now in the park. <laughs> Welcome to Storybook Land. Yeah. <laughs> just walked in the park. There's already live music over there. There's a classic car on display. Yeah. This is crazy. I like this park a lot already. Very nice presentation. This park looks really well kept. I'm enjoying this already. And over here is the North Pole. They have one of these frozen pole things that you can touch, and it's frozen all the time. I've never been to a park with one of these before. Last time I was at Knobles, they had this. Uh, they had their North Pole melted it's so down. Cold. It's freezing it's so cold. cold. Literally a block of ice. It's so cold. Look how dirty it is toward the bottom. Yeah, we don't it's gross. Park. Yeah, we're not going to touch that part. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> but uh, this park is home to an ENF Myler kids coaster from the year 2000 called Bubbles the Coaster. Is that what it's called? Yep. That's its actual name. Its, it's name is Bubbles. And we're going to go ride it. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm very excited. It's like my first coaster ever. So. That's a very exciting credit for me to get. It was Jason's first ever roller coaster. Yep. <laughs> And you're getting so old, oh my god. I'm like working on videos from two years ago and you look so much younger. Yeah, right? yeah like, especially you. Yeah, like, out of everybody. I love this right here, this old railroad caboose with the signal. That's cool as hell. It's uh, showing an approach signal, so uh, be prepared to stop at the next yeah. one. Oh yeah, they have antique cars here. <laughs> yeah, I see all the antique cars. They're literally everywhere. <laughs> oh, you mean those? Oh, the, the antique car ride. Yeah. Can you derail them like the ones at Kentucky Kingdom? No. If you want to see some derailed antique car or There's an antique car, if you want to see an antique car ride derailed, you can go check out my uh, Kentucky Kingdom vlog that I just recently put out on my channel. It was pretty funny. I didn't actually catch a derailing. I caught the aftermath of it. Yeah. There's Bubbles the coaster. It's like the a walk on. Those are a little aggressive. <laughs> That's exciting. There's a train coming in somewhere. Yeah, right here. Oh, cool. Stop and watch it. I am super excited. I got butterflies in my stomach for my 160 yeah. second coaster. I'm gonna get my GoPro on in a second. I'm a little nervous about this. I don't know how it's gonna go. Like it, it kind of looks like a little mini I three uh, I three hundred five with that drop over there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, yeah. And a blackout. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Jason's got permission to film here, and also a big thank you to the park for actually hooking us up with comp tickets. They let us in for free. Took a little convincing at the uh, at the gate, but the yeah, <laughs> Jason had to. Jason actually had to show the email to like get us in, but we got in. The antique car ride over here in the background. You can easily tell um, if it's me or Jason at the park and you're like contemplating because on the back of both of our phones underneath the camera it actually says New Jersey Coasters. So if you're ever questioning you know, why I'm filming your family on the ride, it says it right there under the camera. The parking lot looked really busy but this thing doesn't have a line. Jason's got his GoPro wrist mount on. About to go on this little mini i3-305. I like how there's literally a freaking bubbles machine over there. It's pretty cool. Goes around twice. Pretty cool. I thought it was going to be a three lap special. As a coaster enthusiast who's been to a lot of the major parks in the area, it's getting harder and harder to get credit, so gotta get on this for now. It's almost like a, it almost looks like a Zerir Tivoli kind of, except the cars are clearly ENF Miler, the track, the track as well. 
But um, yeah, I'm excited for this. They look pretty comfy, the cars, they have nice padding on them and everything. The lap bars look pretty cool. Jason, you said they recently um, like redid the cars, they got new cars yeah, on these this? these are completely new in 2019. Nice, brand new trains. And yeah, let's get on this thing. Jason's uh, gonna record with his GoPro. All right, so we're here. You ready, Sean? Here we go. Can we? Got his arms up. Here we go over the drop, the air time. Bubbles. Air time? Yep! <laughs> aggressive kitty coaster ever and it's still great just got off bubbles the coaster i think that was like my 160 second credit or 163rd i can't remember exactly but it was pretty good a lot of like crazy forward g's as you're going down some of these hills if you ride it toward the back like you really get tossed around i thought it was a lot of fun no they just need another credit here it's more enthusiast to come to the park um yeah you want to go on the train now yeah okay doesn't look like it has much of a line i think it's about to leave though yeah it is <laughs> Maybe you want to ride something else instead or turtle, walk around. Turtle world? That's good. Yeah, turtle twirl? I, I love this. this is, oh, look, it's starting a cycle too. Great. Yeah, this, is a, this one also spins a lot fast. <laughs> yeah, I like turtle twirls. Riding a lot of flat rides this season. We're going on this turtle twirl ride right now. Classic tilt a whirl style attraction. It's almost similar to like a waltzer out in uh, Europe, but uh, you know, obviously there's no, no one spinning you out here. That'd be a bit dangerous. Yeah, let's get on turtle twirl. Jason's got his uh, wrist-mounted GoPro. We're uh, ready to go. This should be an interesting one. I think we're going to sit on the same side of the car so we get crazy spins. Or at least I'm hoping that's what happens. Yeah. We're, in a, we're in a giant turtle. Uh, the turtle. Yeah. We are inside the turtle's stomach. We're all going to die. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Alright, quick. This one also runs the fast. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and, uh, and here we go. Oh, yeah. oh my god. I take I take that back. It's <laughs> a high thrill ride. This is a high this is a high intensity thrill ride. 54 inch wheel of my Oh <laughs> We are spinning a lot. Oh my god. Can you imagine if they had like a wheel for you to go on this? Oh, oh my god. We're going the other way. Oh. Work on this one, unlike uh, other ones. We just got off the tilt twirl, a turtle twirl. It's a pretty good flight ride. I enjoy those. Yeah. We're going on the uh, train ride right now. Looks like it just came back in the station. We didn't quite get on this one. There's uh, just not enough seats. Jason wants us to have some room toward the back. So we'll get on the next one. I don't think it's a long ride, right? It must be like five minutes or so. That's because actually it was uh, it was boarding before we got on the turtle twirl. And that only took like five minutes. And that it literally only took like five minutes, so that was pretty good. Yeah, we'll be on this thing in no time. And we got a couple of people coming to meet up with us. <laughs> Nate and Justin. Yeah, they're pretty and cool. And they're going to be on the steel pier and spending that crappy money. Oh, they are? And then are they going to come to Gale Force? they're going to come to Playlands with us. 
Sweet. Yeah, I'm not going to spend the money on the credits no. over at Steel Pier. $14 for a wild mouse is the most overpriced one. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, thank God Taylor put that video out because yeah. we, were, we were totally going to go there. Just too damn expensive, man. These people got a tent set up over here by the train sign. It's pretty funny. They got the uh, classic car show over here. Bunch, bunch of them set up here. It's like some nice old Mustangs. This park does have some room for expansion though. They got this huge overflow parking lot back here. I mean, if they could just take a little bit of the back corner out of it, make a nice, you know, compact layout, something or other, well, like RMC or something. SBF. Oh yeah, they didn't set it up yet though. No, it's in their, it's in their stores <laughs> facility, which you'll see on the train. Oh, uh, that's right. That's another reason to come back here in the future. They're getting another kitty credit. <laughs> yeah, it's a cinder roller coaster. <laughs> it's literally an SPF spinning coaster, but with a double figure eight layout. It's been on them. It's been on property for like two or three years now. Two, yeah. <laughs> so they should get that uh, set up relatively soon. Tiki twirl over there. It's pretty good. So you can see we're at Cedar Point now. Cedar Point. <laughs> Number 163, let's, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this isn't a credit. <laughs> Jason, you said this is a credit, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> discos, according to people, discos are credits, so this. this yeah, this is definitely a credit. It's like Super Loops, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> San Fernando Disco, Super Loops, uh, tr scenic train rides, those kind of credits. And now, because um, you know RMC is single rail coasters, you could count any monorail as a credit. <laughs> the one of the Hershey has a pretty good uh, drop. You yeah, know, it, go it goes it going back into the park. <laughs> Let's see what type of scenes we see on this thing. This park does an excellent job with theming all the rides. Like, there's even stuff over here in the train station. Okay, here we go. Jason's getting that reverse POV. Right, Three. All aboard! Alright! Jason, I didn't hear you screaming! All aboard, Sean. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're living the real world. It's kind of intense to run. You are riding on a CP Huntington, a one-third scale model of an 1863 Pacific Northwest logging train. This guy talks funny. Replica was completely restored by park staff and has been running here at Storybook Land since 1996. As we make our way around Storybook Land, many of your favorite Storybook characters, exciting rides we have to offer. Since Storybook Land opened in 1955, it has been keeping the spirit of childhood alive through continuous updates and dedication to families like yours. We truly create memories that you will cherish for a lifetime. Time hell. The cat in the fiddle. It's like a magnum hell. <laughs> in the narration, they said this is their uh, star attraction. I mean, it really is, but like. <laughs> oh, cow jumping over the moon. He's going. He's doing an inversion. Join us in the fall for some happy Halloween fun. Starting in October, you can choose a pumpkin of your very own to decorate. And decorate it in our original ride on the front of the old train. Then find your way through Elmer's Hey Amazing Maze and ride it on that happy hayride. Also join us on the last weekend of October for a trick or treat. With your story <laughs> guys laying it hard. And if you look closely through the trees, I think I see some parts for an SPF spinning coaster somewhere over here. Definitely see some bright colors. Yeah, right. Full house. Located in the front of the park. It with antique school desks and a hot belly stone. Which is gonna get me. The old lady in the shoe to the right. This thrilling attraction has taken <laughs> Cutting the narration gets cut off. 40 feet and upper deck. It's only a head of one layer, but for the park's 50th anniversary, layers were added a number of candles. 
Nope. Oh, man, look at that truck. That's a truck. Oh, man. Man, look at that muscle car. Nice muscle car. Look at that muscle car. That's a nice muscle car, too. And the Allison Wonderland Tea Party. Don't forget it. You That's pretty funny. And then, when, whenever, when every like, like the minute, it's so good. That's pretty cool. The in the end, the it's the ride that belongs to Diggerland. Yeah. Stop yeah. the tour with us, and we hope that you join us again. Oh, we're dueling. We're gonna race. That's cool. Hi. Hello. Look at that full queue yeah, for the train. It's neat. It's neat. Oh my it's, god, there's a couple neat. enthusiasts coming over here. It's enthusiasts. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like enthusiasts. I thought we were alone. There's more, en here, enthusiasts. more enthusiasts. This man has been wearing the same shirt for two months straight. Yep. Like he's only been to one Bucky's and only got one shirt and he's never washed it. Nope, it always says it doesn't leave my body ever. <laughs> I always wear it. Legit, every time I see you and you're not working at Six Flags, you're wearing a Bucky shirt. Why not? <laughs> it's it's so yours. good. If you guys have ever well, been yeah, to a Bucky's, like post Bucky's down in the comments good. and let me know what I'm missing out on. I can't vlog this. I gotta get doesn't. these guys to yeah, credit. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me let me vlog this. What's going on? Right. So now that we got Coaster Focus and GS Amusement yes. here, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go get the kitty cred for him. I already got it, but I guess I'm gonna pour it with him again. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? It looks like fun. Yeah, it is actually. It's got a lot of forward G's. Oh. Yes, uh, you got... <laughs> it's got like the SBF visa style air hose thing that like lock the restraints. <laughs> it's probably better than SBF visa. Though. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, you almost get air time. It's close. <laughs> I'm definitely not complaining though because this is one of the best themed kitty coasters I've ever seen like it's got a little it's got a house over there that shoots bubbles out it kind of looks like they went to the local like garden and uh, lawn center to get some of the theming in here they got like all these nice fountain setups it's really nice I, I like it a lot Like Revolution at Magic Mountain, it just like runs on a chain. Are you excited? You're carrying us to win this and you have double coast. Nate, are you excited? I am excited. He's very, very excited. How, how could you not be excited? Pretty yeah, much. No Pretty much. We are some of the dirtiest coaster uh, you've ever seen in the community yeah. ever. Literally, we took up four cars on that train. Yeah. <laughs> that was so fun, though. Yeah, that was good. Like, laterals and like ejector, like it was really good. Yeah, no, it's got some really good uh, moments on it. Not <laughs> Literally. Still here. From here? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, we're, we're gonna. They're heading to Steel Pier after this. Yeah. Me and Jason are gonna head to Gale for us because uh, we got like filming contracts. Yeah, we'll be there. there too, this close. Yeah. This close. I love Bubbles the coaster. Uh, Nate's getting Nate's getting Bubbles off ride. I recommend Bubbles. I also recommend Bubbles. I definitely recommend Bubbles. All hell. All we're, hell. We're gonna check out the crazy Tilt World because Jason says it's really good. Yeah. Do you want to train? Like I, I heard it with him earlier. 
Yeah. yeah. I'll write it. All right. I'm ready. I will find a bet. All right. Oh, yeah, because Justin doesn't like spinny stuff. I'll Fly throw rice. up. He's really bad. I'll throw up. Bench. Bench. Elias's park is mostly shaded, so. So far, I've been on three rides, and this is one of them. We're going on the uh, turtle twirl again here. This time, we got Nate. We're going on it. Turkey girl, turtle girl, or 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 Go high. Yeah, we would not have been able to fit Justin in here anyway. Look at our legs. Well, I fit uh, I fit James, Mike, John, and me. That was three years ago when you guys were like... No, it was kids. a year ago. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of us. All right, so, yeah, we're going to get a POV. We're inside the turtle. I think they already checked the ride. Inside the turtle? No, they're going to walk around just like... Yeah. I mean, Justin could have like sat on top of us over here, like you know, one ass cheek on. Justin is oh. sitting right. Oh, here we go already. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lean this way. Oh my god. Lean. Oh no, I'm going. Other way. Other way. so much more intense than the first time me and Jason went on there. Holy crap. And luckily Justin didn't come on with us because his legs like would have had to have been on top Doesn't of like the whole thing. Seeker has been exciting young thrill seekers since the year 2000. The same age as Nate. I'm like seven years older than Bubbles. I am old man. Oh. How many credits did you get in the last like two days? Twenty five. Oh, that's like not a. I thought you guys got more than that. We were oh, going I to get. I got like I've got like thirty or something like that. We were going to get forty. He was gonna get fifty. I was gonna get like thirty five. But we missed a lot of parks yeah. because they closed or we didn't have time for traffic. Decorated in our own find your way through. That's what I was saying. Also, just happy Halloween. We are now approaching the station and the end of your trip. We hope that you enjoy this nostalgic tour with us. What's going on there? I don't know. Both of my hands are on my hand. My phone. I don't know. What's going on, James? Your hands, arms, and feet inside the coach. <laughs> Stop. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what? Your finger. 
Enjoy the rest of your day with us. I don't like this. It's got a finger in your neck. I don't like this place anymore. No, stop. No, stop. It's grass. Oh, <laughs> hell. We just got off the train ride again. Yo, yeah. <laughs> what did you guys think of Soaring Eagle at uh, Luna Park last oh, night? Oh, it was the worst coaster I have ever ridden out of 428. I hate Green Lantern, and I think I found one that I hate more than Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. But it's only one. Only one ride. I have a theory as to why it's so awful, too. It was actually relocated from Illich Gardens, like, in uh, 2010. No, that makes sense. Oh, but, no, yeah, but, like, it was SBNO there yes. from 2008 the to 2010. So that it just kind of chilled at Illich Gardens for, like, two years. And then like Sam Perla bought the ride back from them to install at Luna Park. I don't understand why, but it's there. Thank <laughs> you, yes, yes, it was very really fun. It was. Do the garbage cans here like make noise when you put trash into them? No. Yeah, it's like the go, European parks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Give me paper. <laughs> the biker gang. <laughs> yes. All right, Nate and Justin, they're going to uh, Steel Pier now. It was nice chilling with them for a little bit. They're just going to get the credits. It's going to be like 25 bucks for them to ride the two coasters there. That's fun. No, this is Dolly Parton, you idiot. <laughs> Jason thought this was Madonna when we first got here. What? <laughs> Park is celebrating its 60th anniversary, I guess. I don't know. Top of this uh, kick here, there's a big 60 candle. We're going here inside the dining depot now to eat lunch. It's cool, this restaurant has a couple of different trains because it's a depot. I get it. <laughs> there's another one down at the other end of the restaurant. <laughs> we were just looking at the menu, and thank God we were looking when we did because, like, that one screen just totally went out just now. I'm gonna go for that grilled chicken sandwich right up there. Uh, Jason, I think, is gonna get the same thing, right? It comes with waffle fries. Sweet. And they also have these really good gingerbread cookies that uh, Jason swears by, so I'm gonna get one. Try it out. They got special staff shirts for everybody to wear for the 50s day, which is going on today. Jason's getting that Penny Packer Studio 69 footage over here. That guy's already back from break. I literally saw him like inside this building like 20 minutes ago. I got my gender neutral gingerbread cookie here. It doesn't tell you whether it's a boy or a girl. It just says boy or girl. It's either or. You know, whichever, whatever you feel like calling it. Oh no, not my head. <laughs> this place right here sells funnel cakes, popcorn, and hot chocolate, but you would never guess it just by looking at it. It's a giant flower pot. Oh, uh, this thing over here is called Croc Drop. No, it's not. <laughs> it's called, uh... Shit, TikTok clock drop. Oh, I thought that I thought that was the beginning of the cycle. There's carousel over here, and it has a working calliope. Pretty cool. It looks like all standard horses on this one. Nothing too crazy. A little bench. But we're gonna walk around the park a little bit more and explore some more for you guys. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not, but this is a paid admission park, so you have to pay at the gate, and then you come in, and all the rides are free. It might be a little bit useful if you're planning on coming here. It is really well kept though. I love all of the different topiaries and the bushes and stuff all over the place. This place is really well kept. Jason's taking me into this walkthrough attraction. It's like Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. It's creepy. It looks like we're about to follow like a yellow brick road though. It's like... That is some strange pop socket placement, my friend. Yeah, that's like hold it. How you hold your phone like that? It's like weird. No, I just had the camera in my hand. So. That's, how, that's how Jason gets all his POVs. He doesn't use a GoPro. <laughs> oh my god. Press the button, Sean. There's a button. Press the button. See oh. if it works. Look at that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> These are old school animatronics. These are really One old day, school. Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to take a basket of goodies to her sick grandmother. <laughs> Hurry <laughs> along. He scared me. Strangers, as a kid. her mother said. Um, On her way through the forest, Little Red Riding Hood met a wolf. She told him where she was going, and who's there? Good day, grandmother. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, I brought you some goodies to make you feel better. A piece of cake, a pat of butter. And a bottle of grape juice. Come in, dear. There's a weird little building in there with Little Red Riding Hood and uh, the wolf dressed up as Grandma in the bed. A nice, cool animatronic. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then we got some nice classic muscle cars as we exit out here. I really like that pickup truck. 
It's kind of hard to see, but it's cool looking. I love, I love this building that we just added. Yeah, I think we're actually going to do this. We're going to go ride the antique cars ride. Oh, Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Wait a minute. This doesn't look like Disneyland. <laughs> Wait. It's not even kissing her. Oh my god. Wow, these guys are a different, uh, they're like a different scale than that grandma in yeah, Little is. Red Riding Hood. Yeah. These guys are a little bit smaller. Yeah, they opened this for me to get a camera in here when I did the documentary filming. Really? Yeah, I these. Oh, yeah. that's, that's cool. They've got these like things locked. You can unlock it. I guess if they need to fix anything in there, you know, if uh, whatever his name falls over on top of her, yeah. they can fix it. Hey, we'll sh I'll show you the Snow White one off the way. Okay. So on top of the other drop tower, they got this one. It's like a Moser Ride standard. Snow White's house. Just look right here. Look to your side, okay? <laughs> oh my God! It's mm. the Seven Dwarfs. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to Storybook Land. My name is Doc. It's just a wonderful day! My name is Happy! Well, come on in! Everyone calls me Grumpy! Ah, uh, hi! We're glad you, uh, uh, stopped in! You can call me, uh, Sue! Sneezy! Well, I'm really not sure what to say. I'm bashful. Allow me to introduce Dopey. He doesn't talk at all. And our friend in the bed is sleepy. And do you kids know who this pretty lady is? That's right, American. Snow White. Oh my god, it's her. Now that you know who we are, we must, oh we must, we all must get ready for work. We, we must, must get, get ready, ready for, for work. work. I have my shoes, but, but where's my socks? Where's my lunchbox? More buttons. This one's broken. Oh, there's a slide? Wait, what? Oh, He's missing an ear. What? Oh, there's an actual slide. Oh, no. I can't even stand up all the way in here. <laughs> the ceiling is like right there. Oh, go down the slide. Slide cred. Oh, and I broke my backpack. I think so. <laughs> uh, there's a slide. My backpack. This reminds me of like uh, Noah's Ark. Anyway. Alright, except the whole like the whole thing isn't moving. Alright, Jason, you go through that there. Alright, let's go. Yeah, alright. Oh, this is hard. Oh, jeez. Look at him go. Like, they fit fine. I can't fit in there. <laughs> oh, it's a maze. Man, this park is really amazing. Wait, I wanted to go that way. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder how to get out of here. I'm not six feet tall. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Well, nope, no. dead end. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, oh no, another dead end. It's, it's made easy for kids. Wow, this is so hard. Oh, oh no, another dead end. Oh no, I think we gotta go this way. Whoa. Hope we won't find another. Oh, another, another dead end. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, oh, we, we found the end. Oh, okay, good. Thank God. I thought we were going to be in there all day. <laughs> this park is very interesting. I really enjoy all the theming and all the different story uh, characters and stuff. It's pretty cool. Perfect for families. We were going to do this old timers uh, antique cars ride, but it looks like it has a pretty long line, so we're going to skip yeah, on that. Like at least it doesn't look like it's running a ton of different vehicles too. It runs like four. Oh, yeah, that's good though. They have five. Yeah. So, uh, so now we're just touring the park over here. Uh, we already walked around this section back there. Uh, that's Bubbles, the coaster right there. And uh, we're just gonna get some more shots. What the hell are these, Jason? Well, that's where we were underground. Oh. Oh, that's the uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland thing. So weird. It's always so funny when people let their little kids drive the car. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, that kid over here, like, he looks like he drives better than Jason does. What? 
Uh, this little bit of theming here, it looks pretty familiar. Hey, it's Manny, Mo, and Jack, the uh, Pet Boys uh, mascots, I guess. They used to have these up on the Pet Boys locations. I think they started taking them down. I, I don't see them at my local location anymore. We didn't get to ride the antique cars, but we can at least get cool shots of them. Come on, do it, kisser! <laughs> there's the ginger girl I ate earlier. And there's the ginger boy I hang out with. Phone and camera. <laughs> what? You're insane. This coaster actually has a theoretical hourly capacity of 16,000. Really? It's pretty crazy. How do you know? <laughs> That's right, it sends out trains faster than the fastest Disney ride. Wait, Jason, it's two tracks. No, I'm just kidding. Also, I love how this is locked. Yeah. Oh, that's a good photo. That's a great photo, Jason. Hurry before the gate closes. Yeah. So this is really cool. You can pay 25 cents to get a handful of food, and you can actually pull it up to the goats on top of this structure here using a pulley system. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It looks like they're fighting about it up there. Bam, that's my food. That's really cool though, not gonna lie. There's a bucket on its way up right now, feed the goat. Let's see if he takes it. It looks like he's hungry. That, that goat probably eats so much all day. Oh, there he goes. Look, he's tugging it closer. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's just taking it. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's got it. Looks like we've made it all the way to the back of the park here. There's an enclosure here. It looks like it has some some other animals. Maybe a couple ostriches that I see over there. Uh, and there's a gazelle, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let's go take a closer look at what's in these, uh, these habitats here. It's a follow deer. Uh, it looks similar to like a gazelle or something like that. And they're native to parts of Europe and North America. They're not coming around here. I've never seen them before. Like if they just added an R there, it could be a drama dama. <laughs> it's a dama dama. Dama dama. Dama dama, dama, dama. ding dong. <laughs> Is that racist? <laughs> okay, Jason. What are you? I thought this thing was like an ostrich, but what is that? It's got like duck feet. It's got like... It's got like the head of a uh, one of those goldfish uh, that have like the tumor on their head. What are you? This is pretty funny. There's actually just like a couple of white-tailed deer, which are the common deer that are found here in this region. Um, and maybe they just like kind of built the fence around them. Maybe like they caught them grazing, so they just like built this enclosure around them. That would be pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we got a couple of wild deer that would be uh, normally outside the park. That's so weird. Why are they here? That strange duck looking thing over there kind of looked like a hybrid between like a duck and a goose. I, like, I know weird things like that happen sometimes. I wonder, is that a deuce? A nice unique Zamperla kids ride there. Looks pretty cool. It's like little mini submarines. 
Jason and I are getting ready to head out of Storybook Land. It was my first ever visit. I'm glad we came here. It was nice to uh, experience a nice old-fashioned family-owned park like this. This train car serves food. We just, back to, we just walked past this cute little kid. He was like, where's the train? He looked really angry. It's funny. Humpty Dumpty. I don't know, man. It looks like he's seen some better days. This thing looks like a mini Volkswagen Beetle. That's freaking cool. Oh, that is a mini Volkswagen Beetle. It's called a Veda. I'm just kidding. That model of Volkswagen is called an Aceta. I said it. I don't know. I don't know what I said of there. <laughs> Jason wants to peruse through the gift shop for a couple of minutes. Yeah. That sounds good to me. <laughs> what? That's somebody like that's somebody's like recording, right? <laughs> Is that literally someone going? Uh, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's so funny. Back when this park opened back in the day, it actually only had one attraction. It was that little red schoolhouse right over there. And then everything else was sort of built around it. It's really cool. I really do enjoy this park, and that birthday cake said 66, not 60. I thought it said 60. Uh, this park's like over 100 years old, so they need to like update those candles. <laughs> Maybe that was when they built it. They built the, the thing when it was 66. I don't know. We're gonna head out though. We got some nice t-shirts available for sale here at the exit. Most of them are for 50s day, which is pretty cool. Got some cool hats here for the kids. I like those little cowboy hats. Those are really cool. Got some oh, merch. Is that a coaster? Yes. Is that their newest coaster? Yes. Storybook Land Founders. We had a pretty excellent time here at Storybook Land. That was really fun. Yeah. Thanks again to the park for having us out, and I'll see you guys at Playland Castaway Cove for uh, Gale Force. Peace out. It's got a finger in your neck. I don't like this place anymore.